by including that uh, and, and including that the finance specialization is now seen in Europe across the industry and we're now working with most of them as uh, one of the most brilliant and most professional and the bank and the financial transition see that too. I know that most of you made uh, the decision of specializing in finance during or about crisis. I'm telling you, you made the right choice. Uh, so don't be concerned uh, uh, with that and you are in the right place. So again, it's my privilege uh, to be here. Uh, we were having this discussion with Daniel, whatever I need to do with my company to help sponsor create events, uh, organize health ceremony, whether it's here in New York, uh, business game, uh, and income training or whatever. Uh, I'll do that. Again, it's a privilege. Thank you for inviting me. Now, uh, what I'm going to do uh, in the next 15 or 20 minutes, not before we do the round table, is maybe uh, to uh, point two, two things, uh, basically four things. What is NYSD your next and why do we have such a name, which is a very difficult uh, to request, and what's the related market within financial markets, which is a bigger uh, uh, set. Um, two, I will tell you how we see the market structure today. Uh, it's a very complex uh, and broad discussion. I'm going to try to simplify, but to snapshot what are the main challenges as we see them. Right? Three, and as a consequence, I will tell you what is our competition and uh, what we need to uh, adapt uh, versus this, uh, this competition. Okay? So let, let's start. And I, I, I'll not chart the speech, it's just I'm going to try to show you things. So, NYC Ronex is the merge of the New York Stock Exchange one of the most famous stock exchange uh, on the globe, New York based, of course. All the pictures you can see on any TV when you see what's going on in the stock market, those pictures usually are taken from our floor, which is a religion, but it's a very uh, uh, famous uh, uh, brand, at New York Stock Exchange. And they merged, it was a merge between equal, um, in 2004 <coughs> with what was called Euronext. And Euronext was the recruitment of five exchanges in Europe, the French, the Paris, so Paris the, the Belgium, the Netherlands, the Portuguese, Wars, so four exchanges, uh, mainly on equity, which is stock, and later on with what is called LIFE, which is the derivative uh, market in the UK. So those five exchanges uh, created Euronext, again, one of the biggest uh, exchanges in Europe, they merged with NYSC in 2007, creating one of the biggest exchanges uh, on Earth. That's what we are. And it's the reason why we're still carrying this uh, long name, which we're going to try to simplify uh, later on, because that's another story. Two, in this first bucket, uh, what are our uh, core missions? Uh, the first distinction, and I'm sorry because I'm sure I'm going to say things that for most of you will be uh, obvious, and for some of you may not be obvious, so I'm going to try to shoot in the middle. Um, we are a regulated market, meaning we are representing, and you're going to see tonight that it's a recurrent theme. We are representing the transparent part of the financial market. Transparent part of the financial market. Our job is to, is to run and operate a market where investors are protected. All participants uh, find reliability, integrity, transparency, stability, uh, which, we, which is what we call finance. That's what we call right? Now you can apply that on stock, which we call equity. In Europe, we would call that cash market. Or derivatives, that when we work in derivatives, uh, our derivatives are listed and clear, meaning transparent. So that's what we are. You can oppose this notion of transparency to what is called, and I'm sure you, you heard that, 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 that uh, jargon already, OTC or opacity, which is over the counter, which happens uh, without um, uh, regulation, uh, supervision from the regulators and the policy maker between professional and well. I will come back to that later on. As I said, uh, our job is to run transparent market with integrity and reliability. Our first mission is to get a market where uh, institutions, uh, companies, investors find liquidity and investment opportunity. But our first mission is to, is to help uh, companies around the globe to live on our market. Uh, so that could be US companies, European companies, or Russian companies, or companies who, who, who don't operate in our market, right? 
Uh, of course, you know what's an ICO. Uh, yes, if you have a question, I can happy to answer. But that's done to help companies to raise funds and be able to finance their development and strategic initiatives that are first. Uh, in this part of our mission, we are by far the biggest one. Now, the and Asian places, markets are catching up uh, uh, quite rapidly because of the, the, the beginning. But uh, we are uh, one of the biggest, uh, I mean, place for IPOs, and we are listing at the moment uh, something like 4,000 listed companies on our market for a market cap which is between, depending on the stock market, uh, 15 to 20 trillion, so thousands of billion of market cap. It is huge. Uh, we are representing a big part of the economy, and it is four times, a little bit more than four times the next four exchanges in listing. So on the primary market, on listing, we are uh, the leader and we're going to continue to grow to assembly to keep this position. And then we operate a secondary market, seed transparent, where you can trade. Once you have done an IPO, then you can trade instrument, whether it's security or derivatives and so on. On the cash <coughs> in the um, equity the stock, we are again by far on the globe the number one exchange, one third, a little bit more, one third of stock trading every day goes through our market. Uh, we are by far the, the biggest one. On derivatives, uh, and I guess you, you know what are the products or what you can detail that, we are the number two or number three depending on your country, in contract or in value. I would argue that you need to come in value, that's only money matters at the end. Uh, but the benchmark of the industry is number of contracts, we are number three, if you take value, we are number, we number two. Next, we are the, one of the biggest exchange or the biggest exchange for listing, number one in cash, equities, number two or number three in derivatives. And recently, one year ago, when I joined this company, it will be more than one year ago, we have re-segmented our company to uh, explain the investor, the analyst, that not only we were helping companies to access liquidity uh, uh, and, and raise funds with listing activity, not only we were the first cash exchange, not only we were the known derivative exchange, but we see technology as a key um, element of our business and the business of our clients, whether it's buy side, sell side, or the changes. So we have opened another segment in our business model where we apply technologies on our own market to get a sustainable competitive advantage, and that's working. <coughs> but we're also be selling this technology to other uh, guys. It could be exchanges, or it could be buy side or sell side. And that community the investor that uh, would build a, a business which was 300 million last year, and that will get back to 1 billion in the next four years. So that's a booming market. So that's what we, uh, uh, that's what we are. Uh, as I said, technology uh, is a key component of what we do. And the way we see our job is to combine business structures <coughs> and technology to get things done. That's when you combine uh, both. So do we hear, if you read literature at the moment, that some exchanges, even a couple of years ago, thought that we were becoming a technology company. No, <coughs> we are not a technology company. We are an applied technology company, which is slightly different, and we don't forget that our core business are the one that I uh, just mentioned. It's working uh, uh, um, uh, reasonably well so far. I, I will uh, uh, give you an example. Now, let me move quickly to the second subject I went to touch in the, uh, the introduction. Uh, what's going on on the market? What we would call market structure, and I'm sure it's part of your uh, course at some point of time. Uh, it's a broad, broad subject. I cannot embrace this planet because the different continents, Asia, US, and Europe are not at the same level. So I'm going to focus on Europe for clarity's sake. I can answer any question you want. And to do that, I'm going to uh, um, take you through uh, the last three years, very rapidly. There's been a, a, a movie quite interesting 